Hi, Hi guys. guys! Welcome to yet another edition of The Checklist! Welcome guys to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about something a little different. We'll be talking about how to get over a breakup. So this week we traveled, um, we're at our mom's place, we had a different location as you can see. Yeah, and we're just here to say hi to mommy and see how she's doing. Yes, and we decided to just upload a new video, you know, of how to deal with a breakup because it's something that we've always wanted to talk about, share our experiences about. So, and yeah. hear about your experiences and how you deal with it because yes. it's a very tough thing to go through. Sometimes. And we all deal with it, we all deal with pain differently <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. We all deal with pain a little bit differently and it's nice to share so yeah. that you know next time what you should do. Yeah. yeah. So, number one, what I do, personally, what I do when I go through a breakup is um well i love my food ne? so like when i go through a breakup i eat a lot like i binge eat off of everything whether it's spaghetti ice cream all at once i eat all of that like it's mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not good i end up getting sick sometimes but <laughs> i just do what i gotta do to make the girl happy you know what i'm saying so, so what's your favorite food to eat after mcdonald's food? if you see me eating mcdonald's <laughs> so i'm no. heartbroken <laughs> If you see me eating McDonald's extra large something something you must uh. know her. I am going through so it helps something. with that pain. It just helps. Like I just buy like McDonald's, the ice cream, everything. I buy my Pringles, whatever. Like it's just different types of foods that make me feel mm -hmm. happy inside. That's interesting. That's what I do. <laughs> So, with me, it's very different. If I'm not eating, you must know that I've gone through a breakup. I don't mm -hmm. want any food. I don't want to touch anything. Nothing. I just go through like a fasting starvation phase. <laughs> because, <laughs> and it's good because I come out mm -hmm. looking sexy afterwards. Mm -hmm. But, one thing, how to get over a breakup. I always advocate a good rebound, guys. A good rebound, get yourself a good man, Savannah. Get yourself a good, good man. man. Especially if that mm -mm cheated. Yes. If he cheated on you, I think you are entitled. You are so right. You are Actually entitled to a good rebound. rebound. And you never mm. know how that rebound might come you out. Winner. You might come out, you know, with a new love, a new prospect for life, yes. a new prospect for love. You, you just never know. So always keep your heart open. Do not feel do not feel guilty especially if you know you were not in the wrong some people like to blindside us and then they're like you must stay one year mm. single yada 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 get out do there you. call that guy that's been calling you yeah mm -hmm. do what you need to do mm -hmm. so the third one that i chose is well as much as i love to eat when i'm going through a breakup i also love to exercise a lot but then I exercise to the point where like I, like I exercise for like two days straight like hardcore and I'm sweating I'm like oh I've lost one kg and it's just water weight <laughs> And I'm like, I'm getting ripped, I'm getting smashed. Like, wow, yes, I'm getting my body goals. Like, for those, for that week, I'll feel so good exercising, but then eating at the same I just don't understand how it works. But then sometimes, like, exercising but releases the, yeah. a lot of stress, even mm -hmm. though I don't like exercising mm -hmm. at all. But then, when you see me at the gym, you better know what's up. <laughs> Yeah, so that's my other. <clears throat> um, one advice that I always um, give to myself and other people is that when you're in a relationship, do not lose yourself. Do not lose your routine. Everything that you are used to doing. Like I know um, I travel in between going to my mom's house, which is in the Northwest province, and my father's house. And I've got friends in Rustenburg as well that I visit and I make plans with when I'm here. And if I'm in a relationship, let's say my partner is in Gauteng, I will never compromise um, my schedule in terms of like not continuing to make plans with my friends that are this side because I grew up in the Northwest. Mm -hmm. So, and I also encourage it from like my partner's side. If he has his own friends, I always say like as much as we meet with these friends together, you must go do your things with your own friends. Mm -hmm. Like at the end of the day, we are all our own individuals. Yeah. If you go to the gym from Monday to Friday after work or after school, continue going to the gym. Don't now all of a sudden, you know, go oh, lay up with the man. Mm -hmm. 
don't go lay up with man, little girl. <laughs> you gotta stick to your routine. Stick to your routine. So that, I mean, even don't guys find this very attractive. They're like, okay, yeah. well, I'm with somebody that's very driven. If you know that you study or you, you have exams, write up a timetable and stick to that. Do not now all of a sudden start shifting things around because now you're in a relationship. I'm not saying neglect the person, but also have your own life outside That's of your so relationship. True. That has got nothing to do with your relationship. I'm part of like a foundation as well. So this foundation, um, we help young girls. So I do that. Like if I've got work to do regarding that, my relationship takes the back seat and I'm onto that because God forbid something happens. Now I'm stranded. I've left my foundation. I don't have my friends in Rustenburg because I don't come and visit them. Oh, you know, I don't have my friends in Kham. All I know is that guy. Yeah, the less available you are to a person, the more they actually want to be around you. you. Are your own if you're person. always there 24 7, they know what they can reach you at any time. How boring is that? Like, need to stop all of that and then you met somebody or met a, oh you met somebody um you guys have been dating for two years all of a sudden you guys are besties what uh, about my friend uh, wakali huh? what you before that i've known you no. for like 15 years five no. years uh-uh mm -hmm. no guys let's be realistic that doesn't work. continue on your routine so that when you guys break up guess what your life goes on you're still on that routine you're still and on the track and broken. you are exposing yourself to being around people that you could potentially create new friendships, create new relationships. Mm. So you're out, you're at the gym, you're out, you're out with your friends, mm. you're out, you at all of these places. And mm. that's like potentially could potentially open up new doors. Mm. So do not close the doors just because you're in a relationship. Continue to be your own individual because that's what the person fell in love with. They don't fall in love with a person that sits at home all day bothering them. They've already got their mom. So don't try to be mm. their mom. Don't try to do that at all. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. about it. No, actually, yeah, I have. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. I have one more. Yeah. And with me, when it comes to a breakup, um, chances are I already know if I'm gonna break up with you. I will stay in that relationship for like a month or so, planning my escape plan. Yes. Because if let's say I can see that this is like. A plane that's about to crash mm -hmm. I will sit in that plane try and find the parachute try so like in my mind like mentally I'm detaching myself so I don't I can't deal with breakups as like today let's break up I deal Same. with them yeah Gradually, I Jay. take mm -hmm. uh, yeah like maybe we might break up and then they might call me and say no I want to come back to you I want to talk to you then I will get back with you but chances yeah, are I'm not, not the same person mm -hmm. anymore I'm plotting my escape plan. So if you start to see me pull away, stop calling you. So I'm preparing myself for life without you. If you call and I'm no longer available, or if you're asking me, like, let's make plans. And then I'm like, no, I've got something to do. I'm planning slowly, like fading you out of my life I'm i can't different. deal i can't deal with a breakup where me we just too. call yeah. like we just sit yeah, and we we're done like, yeah we done or we just sit and be like are we done yes no. we done no i've never done that in my life like my breakups i just disappear i just you go, ghost i run yes like i just delete everything or like they are like clingy people that don't want to let go uh -huh. like you know like you try and like insist like you always like I think we need just space, just two weeks, something at least to just give you time to think Honey, about you your life. You've broken up with the poor boy a long time ago. <laughs> I've already got something else going on. <laughs> so like I, I like I always like ask her, don't you need like space at least like to just think about it, you know, think her, do you really want to be in this, mm -hmm. like that sort of thing. But then there are those sort of people that are like, no, I don't need that space. I need you more than I need that <laughs> we space. We can work through this we together. Then so you're like, we'll come out stronger oh, on the other side. Oh, okay. Then continue, continue in this relationship that you're in. I'll keep giving you hints, showing you what's up. You'll be viewing my statuses and whatever, and maybe you'll make a conclusion from there. Because some people just don't get it. But now they're close to the Like, yeah. there's nothing you can do about it. So I, 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 ghost yeah. I can't ghost. I ease my way out of it. Mm. And then in the end, when I see, okay, now it's my time to say it. Then I'm like, I've become so busy. Like, all of a sudden, you know, like, I've got work. I've got, like, charity things to do. I've got gym. I've got assignments. Like, I don't think I've got enough time. And you could see that our relationship is just, like, mm -hmm. we're no longer close mm -hmm. as we used to be. So I think it's best that we become friends. Mm -hmm. And that's how, like, if I give mm -hmm. you that, then you must know, no. like, 
we're done. I'm sorry, it's done. I'm done. So going down our list quickly for you guys. Mine is a rebound. Mine is eating a lot of McDees. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one is stick to your routine. Don't lose yourself. Don't lose your essence. Another one is exercise. A lot. And the other one is take your time to think about the breakup before you actually do it. Because sometimes you might be in that window period and then realize how much you like the guy. Chances mm. not. But anyways. Mm. <laughs> That's all we have for you guys. Don't Today. have no more. <laughs> Don't have no more for you guys. Comment in the comment section down below. Let us know what you think of our videos. If you have any video requests, let us know as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate your support and love. We cannot thank you guys anymore. We love you guys. See you in another video. Bye. Bye.